Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today, I want to talk to you about the differences between a traditional and a Roth IRA and how you can figure out which one's best for you. Okay, well, let's start with this. What's an IRA, right? Or an IRA. You might have heard about that. Now, if you're unfamiliar with retirement accounts, IRA or IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. These kind of accounts provide tax advantages for retirement savings that are different from a 401k. A 401k is offered by an employer. It's also a tax deferred savings account, but an IRA is established by you on your behalf and generally offers more investment choices with stocks that you can choose from. And these are the kinds of, uh, we prefer that actually. We, we don't like to be limited to a bunch of mutual funds and ETFs. But there are two different types of IRA accounts and I'd like to get into those today. Real quick, it's important to note that everybody has a different financial setup. Everybody has different ideas for their retirement. So it's not possible for me to just kind of tell you what to do. I'm not your advisor, right? So what I may be discussing here could be right for you or maybe not as right for you as it would be for somebody else. Um, and if you're unsure what exactly your retirement future should look like, given where you are right now, I would head over to the link below. We've got a really nice retirement quiz right there that's going to help you figure out just how much money you're going to need for your future. So go on over there and do that quiz. You'll have a better idea of what you might want to be doing with retirement accounts. Now today, let's just dive into the two types of IRA accounts that there are, the traditional IRA account and the Roth IRA so that I can kind of help you figure out what's your best option. Okay, first, let's just address what they both have, right? Uh, they both have the ability to be opened uh, by transferring out of a 401k into an IRA, um, either one. The, both of them have a deadline to contribute of April 15th each year. They both have a $6,000 uh, limit to the contribution, unless you're over 50, and then it's $7,000. Um, and that has to be split between both of those can't do seven in each or six in each. And um, lastly, you, you need earned income um, if you're gonna contribute it to either one of them. So, okay, so let's dive into the differences between these two kinds of IRAs. The main difference is just the timing of the tax advantages. With a traditional IRA, you're going to deduct what you put into it right now, right? You're taking money before tax and sticking it in the IRA. And then later, way down the road, 30, 40 years, you're gonna pay taxes when you withdraw that money and you're gonna pay taxes on the gains in the account that you grew over all those years. So when you take it out on a traditional IRA, you're paying taxes both on the money you put in and on the money you made on that money. Uh, a Roth IRA is very different than that. A Roth IRA, you pay the taxes up front on your contribution, and then the money goes in and earns tax-free and there is never a tax on a withdrawal from a Roth IRA. So the Roth is phenomenal if you're a good investor and can build up a high rate of return in your Roth IRA, you will never pay taxes on that. That is a massive benefit. But of course you do pay taxes on the money before you put it in there. So those are the big differences right there. Um, and by the way, there are some, you know, there's some tweaks to this. You can take the money out of a Roth any time the money you put in, there's no penalty on it because you've already paid taxes on it. You can't take out the money you earned on it without paying taxes and a penalty until you're, I think, 59 and a half. But you can always take out the principal, which is awesome. It's kind of like a really good savings account for um, those emergencies that can come along because you can get your hands on the money without a penalty. Whereas in a regular IRA, if you take the money out, you can borrow out a little money, but you got to put it back. And basically, if you take the money out before you're 55, 59 and a half, then, you know, you're going to pay a penalty of 10% plus taxes on the money you took out. And don't you love that little 59 and a half? Like, why not 60? Why not 59? I can see these congressmen sitting around yapping about that for a year. So IRAs are very, very cool. They're very much like a regular investment account without any kind of taxes on it. So you really like to get maximum amount of money into a Roth. That is a super, super cool idea because you can really grow the money in there. Oh yeah, additionally, Roths don't have any required minimum distribution. You hit age 72, you just keep all your funds in your Roth account. 
You don't have to be paying taxes ever on them, so why not put them there? Now, determining which one to choose, that's a good question. It's basically based on whether you think your annual income and your tax bracket are going to be lower than they are right now or higher down the road or higher in retirement or lower in retirement. It's kind of a it's kind of a sophisticated decision to figure out which one to do. I'm basically thinking like this. If you've paying, you know, if you're in a low tax bracket now, which many people are in their 20s and 30s, you're in a low tax bracket, you load up the Roth. You maximize the Roth because you want to you want to be you want to be at least dreaming that you can take this money in the Roth and invest it at a very high rate of return and end up with millions of dollars in your Roth IRA. That would be the absolute coolest thing in the world. Millions of dollars and never have to pay taxes on it. 100% awesome way to go. But got to remember, it really does matter what kind of tax bracket you're in at the very beginning. If you're making a lot of money right now, you're a doctor or something and you're making 500 grand a year, those tax breaks are so beneficial, right? At the If you're in the 50 to 60% tax bracket, which many of these people are, man alive, you're, you're using dollars right off the top that you would have been cut in half immediately if you were to put those into a Roth IRA. So you double your money immediately by putting it into a traditional IRA. And then your money is growing without a tax on it all the time it's left in there. But, you know, down the line, you know, if you've got millions of dollars and have to pay taxes on it and you're a doctor, that's okay. You know, that's the way it goes. Eventually, you do have to face a tax burden in retirement from a regular IRA. So I would kind of look at it like that. High tax bracket, um, just go with a regular and a low tax bracket and where you really expect to um, to take advantage of the Roth and, and build your money inside that Roth, then go that way. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you committed to a retirement plan? And if so, are you taking advantage of this IRA? Because I really think you should. Now, leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now, go play. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and you think it was valuable in teaching you more about traditional and Roth IRAs, hit the like button. Please share the video with your friends. If you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen. I've got a free gift for you. And thanks again for watching.